Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. There are major implications of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. With states set to decide how they will govern access to abortions once again, Arizona is sure to have its own restrictions. But just how far they go is now in question. News for Tucson's Eric Fink joins us with the story tonight in studio. Eric. Sean, the picture is murky in our state. That is because Governor Doug Ducey signed a 15-week abortion ban bill into law at the end of March. That law is set to take effect this fall, 90 days after the legislative session ends. So the target date here is sometime in late September. But preceding the governor's state law, there's a pre-row abortion ban still on the books from the early 1900s. Then there's the city of Tucson that passed a resolution protecting women seeking abortions and their doctors. I spoke with Tucson's mayor and a legal expert at the U of A today to help break it all down. It's, it's chaos, frankly. With the emotions still raw from Friday's historic decision from the high court. Longtime U of A professor and legal scholar Barbara Atwood spoke about the uncertainty law. here in Arizona because there's a pre-row abortion ban on the books dating back to 1901 and soon to be a 15-week abortion ban that Governor Ducey signed into law this session. Governor Ducey has taken the position publicly, at least at the time of signing that legislation, that it would supersede the old law. I think Attorney General Brnovich also in a recent statement alluded to the fact that the 15-week law may in fact be the law that supersedes this, this old ban. So we're, we're in a kind of um, limbo here in Arizona. In Tucson, the city council passed a resolution earlier this month protecting women seeking an abortion and their doctors from arrest and prosecution. Mayor Regina Romero, who's staunchly pro-choice, says she and her colleagues did so in anticipation that Roe would be overturned. It is the legal opinion of our city attorney uh, that we, the city of Tucson, is within our legal right. We are going to have to really rely on legal experts. It definitely is a symbolic measure, but it also um, can give prosecutors the ammunition to exercise their discretion and not prosecute abortion-related crimes. But could something done locally actually hold up if the state sees it differently? It's unclear whether a city's and county's blanket refusal to enforce a state law actually permissible under Arizona's system of government. The biggest question mark is what is next uh, for the freedom of people in this country to choose what they do with their bodies. And that is an electoral strategy as well as, as a legal strategy moving forward. Voting is a very, very powerful step. Now, Atwood says the 15-week ban that was passed in a party-line vote this spring and signed into law by Governor Ducey is much more aligned with public opinion statewide. But there are those who want to see the pre row ban in effect. Atwood predicts there will be legal challenges here, and she suspects a court will have to decide it. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.